Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Reinventing the wheel here, people. We're just making the game better. I don't know what that means. That's cool with me. I gotta ask, how do you feel about solar tornadoes? If you're scared of solar tornadoes, you better run now. Put on your zips and go. Whereas tornadoes on Earth are super scary. Unless you have a cellar. Solar tornadoes are not as scary. Because they're very, very far away. But what is mildly peculiar is the fact that that the sun has the highest amount of solar tornadoes I've ever seen. And you got solar tornadoes left side and right side. Crazy. Well, to say out with the old and in with the new, the sun has crafted a horseshoe of solar tornadoes. And that is awesome because everybody knows horseshoes are good luck and horses are awesome. And after the crappy year of 2014, we could all use a giant burst of luck. Because horses are noble creatures, and we could all be a little bit more noble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, party people. Sun be looking a little nasty. All right. The crown of the sun or pie crust, it looks quite a bit flaky, and you've got some corona separation going on. It's okay, man. Everybody loves coronal separation. Wow, looks like we got all our big guns rolling in. And here's our little super, we got a super solar horseshoe comprised solar tornadoes. Ooh, that was some cray cray activity. You notice how they're all just kind of dancing in a semicircle? Let's see, or the Star Trek logo. Call it whatever you want to, man. Then we got a big poppity pop, popping off at the very end, right about now. Right about now. So we got solar tornadoes dancing up here. It's just a solar tornado party all over the sun. That's cool. Thor News is pretty big on partying. Although, I'm always alone. <laughs> all right. So, bro. This counts as low activity on the sun, even though there's a giant horseshoe of dancing and partying solar tornadoes. Is it gross oversimplification? Yeah, probably. Are they going to change it? Probably not. And is that going to affect us majorly? Mm, I don't think so. Just allows us to look smarter for being writer. But it's not a competition. Asterisk. No friendly competition is good for competition. It pushes you and me to be better. You know what I'm saying? And Thor of Thor News is all about self-improvement. Super wig out. Uh, it looks like some type of activity. I feel bad when I say sun looks crusty because, you know, that's an adjective nobody really wants to describe them. So if I ever meet the sun, it would be understandable if the sun was upset. Like, you kept calling me crusty. Be like, it was a medical term, ma'am. And then I'd be like, it was a medical term, dude. Don't get so offended. Don't get your solar panties in a wad. I bet a solar wedgie would hurt. So yeah, the sun looks a bit randy. All right, the crown of the sun or pie crust, it looks quite a bit flaky, and you've got some corona separation going on. It's okay, man. Everybody loves coronal separation. If that pops something off, it definitely looks earth-directed, though it looks like it might be too high. See? It's too high to do anything effective. Well, look at the giant coronal hole at the bottom. It looks pretty active. Ooh, look at that flippy floppy. Wow, it looks like we got all our big guns rolling in on my one millionth and third episode of the minimal double peaked solar maximum that was really weird bizarre and never ending professional science bases solar activity in the solar cycle on sunspots and solar flares and i say hey man that is just way too oversimplified i've even got the baby from who framed roger rabbit talking about jessica rabbit and how solar science and how professional solar science has oversimplified the situation now you look at this sun with your own two eyes. And you tell me, do you see any activity? Remember, filaments, their size, their motion, or their activity don't count. Solar tornadoes, their number, their size, their activity, they don't count either. Unexplained weird crap, they don't count either. Giant tears, they don't count either. And you got solar tornadoes left side and right side. Crazy. If that pops something off, it definitely looks earth directed though it looks like it might be too high see it's too high to do anything effective 
Wow, look at the giant crown of hole at the bottom. Wow, looks like we got all our big guns rolling in. As you can see, there's a lot of movement, a lot of activity. This one's got a Jupiter-sized hole. I guess Earth-sized is more like it. Looks like the, this region that rolling around is going to be exciting. We're not reinventing the wheel here, people. We're just making the game better. I don't know what that means. That's cool with me. Looks pretty active. Ooh, look at that flippy floppy. 